morning guys, it's Ryan Lucchese with WPT Deep Stacks and today we are here at the Tin Barrel Brewing Brew Pub in the Maker's Quarter in downtown San Diego. Now Tin Barrel Brewing opened in Bend, Oregon in 2006 and this is actually their fifth location in the western United States. Uh, the San Diego spot opened in 2017. You know, when we first set out for expansion, we definitely wanted to put our beers up against the best there was. San Diego, in my opinion, is the most competitive beer market in America. Uh, you know, there's 150 plus breweries here in the area. Um, some kind of of the OG of the craft beer industry with the ballast points and the stones of the world. Some, some heavy hitters down here. So we wanted to kind of put our beers up against those beers and see how we could do. We have 20 taps down here, two different bars, uh, and we try to feature a good balance of beers from our other locations, as well as a, a majority or about half are made in-house. All right, so we've tasted our way through the 10 beers and I wanted to point out a couple of the highlights I found in the taster flight. Uh, first and foremost, I'm a sucker for dark beers, so I of course loved their uh, Sinister Black Ale and their throwback oatmeal stout. Uh, but this is also a very hop forward brewery and we're kind of in the land of hops here in San Diego. So two others that are specific to this brew pub that stood out to me uh, were their Cali Love IPA, which is a classic West Coast IPA. And this one's a little less hoppy, but very local. The Padre Pills, it has, uh, it's a very uh, yeast malt Pilsner, but it has a little bit of sour spice there on the end, which uh, is, is a nice finish. And then lastly, uh, they make a whole series of sour beers called The Crush. Uh, the one in this flight was the Cherry Crush, and that was another one of my favorites from this flight. Another thing I really liked about this beer flight is uh, they kind of curate and pick it out for you. A lot of places will just do pick your own flights, and you can do that here as well, but it's kind of nice sometimes for them to take you on a tour through their brewery. So I really enjoyed the Tin Beer Sampler at Tin Barrel Brewing. We moved in here and there was really nothing in this neighborhood and we developed uh, an old garage warehouse into a 10,000 square foot brewing facility with a kitchen attached to it. So we have a 100% um, from scratch kitchen. Our head chef Tommy Frioli does a fantastic job with his team coming up with cool kind of Southern California innovative dishes. We have a rooftop deck, another thing that you might not necessarily see at a lot of breweries uh, with a bar up there. We have three outdoor patios. Uh, we are doing live music every Friday. So we're trying to turn this into kind of a true attraction venue um, that's going to attract both the craft beer lovers and, and the beer enthusiasts, as well as uh, everybody else that's coming to look and have like a good bite to eat and a good time. Man, the beer is great. The food is incredible. Um, I gotta say that their menu's like spot on. It's everything that you'd want is, it's there. Um, the, every beer that I've had, I, Tasty, crisp, I mean, you walk in and it's inviting. I mean, it's open. You have all walks of life coming in here from families to single people. Got the TVs, got yeah. the games on, gotta love that. You know, with our founders, Chris and Jeremy Cox, like they instilled in us one thing, you know, it's brew beer, drink beer, and have fun doing it. Now, um, you know, we all do things to have fun in different ways. I think one thing that we can all unite around is, is like a love for being outside and doing things outdoors. So, um, you know, our kind of, our, that's brew beer, drink beer, have fun has kind of evolved into drink beer outside. And then however you interpret that is up to you. But there's a lot of activities that people do outside. There's a lot of activities that people do drinking beer outside. So you can kind of interpret that however you like. Um, that's how we like to leave it. And the rest is up to customers.